protected the people from criminals and demons. As he'd done since a young age, Jinmu warmed up in the dojo, following the training required by the village chief. He was the most promising disciple. He put in quite a firmly hoping to one day play his part in the protection of his people. He knew this for sure. The Nazi clan leader, Amaterasu, was no man to call a truce. Jinmu knew the origin of the Natsu clan like the back of his hand. Like everyone else, he was aware that Susano's eternal rival had betrayed her twice, turning against his own allies and mercilessly slaughtering his comrades to satisfy his selfish desires. It was because of Amaterasu that Jinmu lost both his father and his mother, whom he had never known. And so Susano had to raise him yeah. in their stead. Yeah. Yeah. Yet, it was not out of vengeance that Jinmu wished to fight, but to protect his own. It was from this unwavering determination that he drew his strength. Jinmu's training was coming to an end, culminating in a final challenge against his friend. Finally catching up, eh, little raven? Maybe I can stop holding back now. Boast all you want. You weren't that talented at my age. Yeah. I won! His confidence was not misplaced. None of his seniors or superiors could defeat him. But even though Jinmu outstripped all his peers, he still hadn't managed to surpass his master. <sighs> Jinmu, at last you've arrived. Are you ready to complete your training? I've been ready for a long time. I won't disappoint you, Grandmother. I expected nothing less from you. On guard! One. I did it! What spirit you have. Sometimes you remind me of your father. But you wouldn't have been able to touch me if I had called upon the Tengu god. I'm sure I can. Let's have a rematch, and don't hold back this time. That arrogance it reminds me of. No, it doesn't matter. Only the power of a god can surpass the power of another god. Still, you fought well. Does that mean I can join the battle? 
Very well. You will join the fight against the Natsu clan, but you will stay in the back ranks and listen to your superior's orders. Don't be a hero. I know your heart is good, but have no mercy for these traitors. Advance with us to victory and avenge our people. I will protect you with the storm of our god Tengu. The Aki clan advanced through the valley to respond to the Natsu attack, and Jinmu hastened to join Akiku and his fellow samurai. But he lost track of his friend, and naively plunged into enemy lines to find her. Jinmu soon faced a formidable opponent. It was time to put all his learning into practice. For justice. The traitors of Aki will pay! Why? They are the traitors. What? Fire? Despite Tengu's protection, a fire seemed to have broken out. Who could unleash... <laughs> well, well, well. A raven who's still standing. You should have fled while you had the chance. But since you're here, be my warm-up. And then I'll cross swords with the furious harpy who serves as your leader. Amaterasu, the leader of the Natsu clan himself. I must not hesitate. I must eliminate him. It's the only thing standing between us and peace. Jinmu had to face the samurai of the sun, blessed by the goddess Kitsune. A formidable and experienced opponent, against whom he probably stood no chance. You're a little more skilled than the others, but you're starting to tire. Don't be disappointed. It's normal to bow down to me. But try to entertain me a little longer, will you? on me in ages. Yeah. It's just luck. <laughs> the weaklings I've faced over the years have made me let my guard down. It won't happen again. Yeah. I can keep standing up to you. If you give up, we can still spare lives. <laughs> give up? What's your name, young raven? Jinmu. Jinmu. The fire of war will only be extinguished when Susano frees my daughter. She knows it all too well. A Natsu woman? In the Aki clan? What are you talking about? You're fighting her war without even knowing this? How naive. You must think your intentions are noble, but your savage beast of a leader has more blood on her hands than you realize. She doesn't care about you. 
She knows that I will eliminate every last one of her followers if she doesn't return my child, and yet she does nothing. You're spouting nonsense. Stop trying to deceive me. Why would she do that? Because she only listens to her rage. You'll see for yourself. Wait! Still trembling, Jinmu looked around him. The battle was over. Despite significant losses, Aki had come out on top. Yet despite this victory, thoughts collided in Jinmu's head. What was he talking about? His daughter? Could it be that Grandmother has been hiding things from me? All these corpses. As many Aki as Natsu, is Amate... <laughs> Jinmu, you're back. Not even a scratch. I expected nothing less from you. We managed to push back the Natsu. Come, join us. We all deserve to catch our breath. The Natsu will eventually come back, and this endless cycle of violence will resume as if today had never happened. Why not seek to stop this conflict and enjoy lasting peace? Jinmu, you know very well that it's not possible. Amaterasu doesn't listen to anyone but himself. He only wishes to destroy. I exhausted my kindness and patience a long time ago. The only option left is to defeat them all until the last one. I think I have a solution. I met Amaterasu and... Ah, here lies the cause of your sudden impudence. He tried to manipulate you, did he not? You must not listen to him. Amaterasu is a liar. His words are as deceitful as the goddess he worship. That's not it. There is a way out, and Amaterasu has only one demand to stop this war. Enough! You must do as I say. I don't have to answer to you. We are at war, and here I am your leader. We must exterminate the enemy. Grandmother, is it true that we're holding his daughter captive? Ah! Of course he still won't listen to reason! You cannot understand. It's too soon. I'll overlook your impertinence this time, and we'll talk about it at the village. We have to set her free now. We have to stop. It's impossible! You're... Ah, oh, I should have known. It was a mistake to bring you to the battlefield. Impossible? I think the mistake comes from your blind stubbornness. If you refuse to explain, I will have to take matters into my own hands. Jinmu, please stop! Listen to your leader! You know the punishment for mutiny. Death! Don't make me fight you! You leave me no choice. You are the one who taught me to fight for my people! You don't understand. Give up and I can forgive this yeah. offense! This deceitful fox has confused your mind! Come uh, back to your yeah. senses! Uh. Yeah. This war has opened my eyes. And if I can stop it, rest assured that I won't give up. I can't move anymore. Does that mean it's over? I can't oppose the gods, even if it's for peace. Jinmu, you have disobeyed your leader and your god. Go. G go? I condemn you to exile. Take your weapon. March to the mountains of the north. And never come back. And so Suzanu banished Jinmu from the village and exiled him to the mountains. Jinmu felt completely lost. The history of his clan. The atrocities committed by Amaterasu, Susanoo's just cause. Where was the truth in all of this? And where were the lies? Who was his daughter? What was the real reason for this conflict? He remembered very well the story his grandmother had told him. In ancient times, Amaterasu had received the blessing of the mischievous goddess Kitsune in exchange for his blind devotion and unwavering submission. He then began to massacre all those who did not join her cult. That was the origin of this endless conflict. 
At least that's what Jin Wu had been convinced of. Until yesterday. Now he wasn't sure of anything anymore. Did death, lifeless bodies, pain and cruelty really have a meaning? Deep in Jin Wu's soul, a conviction was beginning to emerge. This war was futile and it could be stopped. And while he was lost in his thoughts, Jin Wu continued to advance toward the mountains. The grass became snow as the fresh air of the valley gradually gave way to the icy cold of the peaks. Without realizing it, Jin Mu had arrived to the mountains. Legend had it that it was beyond these summits that the abode of the gods was located, and that before inhabiting the valleys, the first samurai had trodden this same snow. But today, it would have been surprising for anyone to inhabit such an inn. I can't go any further. Where am I? I must have passed out. Young Raven, the wind that blows in this place is too fierce for your wings. Trace your steps. Who are you? A god? A ghost? Please, help me. Can anyone survive in these forbidden mountains? No matter. <sighs> no one would have the strength to survive the storm of Orochi without my protection. Young Samurai, who are you? And what are you doing here? My name is Jinmu. I wander aimlessly. I was banished from my village. A ronin? Because I disobeyed my chief's orders. Grandmother Susano preferred to send me away rather than tell me the truth. Susano? So you are the grandson of Susano? In any case, you must leave. A boy of your kind would not last long in these mountains. You don't look very young. I doubt you're more resilient than I. Insolent! I am Isonagi, the first samurai, and this is the temple dedicated to the god Orochi. I still have some resources left in me, and I will show you. Let that be a lesson to you. With the exchange of blows, Jin Mu's pendant came out of his clothes, which did- Your necklace! What are you doing with the enchanted pearl of Amaterasu around your neck? What? But it's my mother's necklace. What else has Susano been hiding from me? That's a beautiful irony of fate. Who would have thought such a miracle could happen one day? This changes a lot of things. Your story is, in a way, my story as well. Sit down, Jinmu, 
I have many things to tell you. Kushina. That's my mother's name. So that means... Amaterasu's daughter is my mother? Jinmu, you are a descendant of the Aki and Natsu clans. But then, Amaterasu is my grandfather? And you're my... Uh, distant ancestor? Great-grandfather. It is this family connection that has brought you here safely. Your magic necklace is a token of affection given by Amaterasu to his daughter, through which he passed on his protection to you in turn, a love that protected you from Orochi's blizzard. So Amaterasu doesn't know that my mother is dead and thinks she's kidnapped? Yes. Suzano kept everything from him to protect your parents and you, the product of their forbidden love. Even after all this time, she continues to hide the truth from him. Maybe Tengu deliberately obfuscated her mind to perpetuate her feud with his rival. Hatred. Wars. It's all the gods' fault. Now that I know everything, I must be able to dissipate their confusion. I have the blood of both sides in me. I might be able to appease them. Arrogant! You cannot stop the course of history alone, and certainly not against the will of the gods. But you... you were their master. What if... Do not count on my help. I can no longer leave these mountains. If you plan to go back, I will not stop you. Ah. So I have to challenge the gods in order to stop this absurd war. But a human triumphing over the gods is unthinkable. Despite knowing the truth... I still feel like I'm at a dead end. It is my duty to watch over my descendants. You can stay with me if you want. I will not intervene between my two disciples, but I can at least offer you a place here. Thank you, Izanagi. beaten me again. You're probably the strongest samurai I ever faced, aside from Izanagi. It's still not enough. I don't stand any chance against Susano and the god protecting her. Only a fool would provoke Susano. She asked for the power of a god and received it, without even needing to make a pact. Without a pact? How could she possibly seek the help of a god without consequences? Those were different times. We once had a better relationship with the deities. There was a balance. If a god liked you, they would sometimes offer their help without asking for anything in return. And we didn't need to guard this bridge like we do today. So it is possible for gods to offer help without a pact? Yes, but that was before Kitsune and then Tengu broke this peace. Everything changed, unfortunately. And we can never hope to stop those two again. The other gods were furious when the situation got out of hand. Fortunately, the snow of Orochi calmed their wrath. Maybe I have an idea. A way to defeat them. It's worth a try. The story Izanagi told Jinmu had convinced him that he should stop the war himself. The two rivals, blinded by their hatred, would listen to none but their idols. But Jinmu would force them to return to reason. And if he had to fight them for it, then so it would be. Fortunately, he felt like the words of the samurai had opened a way for him. With a fresh impetus, Jinmu quickened his pace. If he could convince a higher being to help him, that power might be enough to end this madness. 
He just needed a push to rise to their level. The blessing of a god who would work... I should have known. You want an audience with the Divine to receive their power. I cannot let you cross this bridge. The gods must not interfere in mortal affairs any further. Haven't you learned any lessons from the mistakes of your elders and their terrible pacts? Just one last time. To put out the fire of war they have ignited. To repair all the misfortunes they have caused. Only a god can help me fight on equal grounds against Tengu and Kitsune. Bringing a supreme being into the situation will only make things worse. It is a noble goal, but you do not realize what you are doing. I am the guardian of the Garden of the Gods, and this heavy responsibility falls upon me. I failed to stop your grandparents, and because of that failure, they are still struggling in an endless war. But I will not let you back. Settle everything. I recognize here the arrogance of your grandfather. But very well, I can admit defeat. Cross the bridge before I change my mind. Jinmu had triumphed over the first samurai and prepared to enter the realm of the gods. His confidence and determination renewed. Here I am, finally in this legendary garden. Magnificent. No painting could do it justice. But it is strangely empty. No, I feel like I'm being watched. Who dares enter our lands? It's been a while since a mortal disturbed us. My name is Jinmu. I'm the disciple and grandchild of Susano. Nice to meet you, your... Uh, godliness. Don't try to flatter me, you foolish youngster. Tell me why I shouldn't just devour you right now. I came to offer a deal. 
Am I to understand that you want to make a pact with a god? No way! I don't want to do that. I just need your help to bring peace among the mortals. <laughs> you have nothing to offer. Why should I accept? Our wars are the result of your carelessness and the prideful desires of some other gods who used humans. It's your responsibility to fix this. How dare you give me orders and question our ruling? What arrogance! Why should the war between Kitsune and Tengu be my problem? Your greatness is only expressed in the devotion of those who submit to you. If the wars between them continue, humans will forget about the other gods. Grant me your power, and I'll restore lasting peace, and all the gods will be honored equally. That's a very ambitious bet. You think you can stop all these wars alone? If someone can do it, it's me, by virtue of my blood. With your help, I will succeed, and the providential god who will have helped me will be covered with praise by grateful humans. Interesting points. All right then, let's restore the peace between the clan. That's it? You're convinced? You don't want to kill me anymore? <laughs> I haven't eaten humans in ages. It's bad for digestion, and I like your energy, little creature. I just wanted to scare you to test you, and you dared to challenge me. So it was true. All I had to do was ask nicely. You weren't even polite. Anyway, if you want to leave with my power, you'll have to prove yourself worthy. Show me you can handle it, and entertain me. If you're not up to the task, I'll send you down the waterfall. Nobody can beat me with this power. There's no way I'll lose. Well. At least you have to be able to receive my strength, channel the incessant flow of Ryujin, the Dragon God, through your sword. My power brings life and soothes wounds. Use it well, and prepare to exceed yourself. Since I've had so much fun, you have proven yourself, little being. Now go, and stop these wars, as you wish to. Climb on my back. In my great kindness, I will drop you at the heart of the valley. My young recruit cannot make the journey on foot, and it will do me good to stretch my scale. <laughs> <laughs> 